everyone, welcome back. Okay, this is the third time I'm actually shooting this video. First time I didn't have my microphone on, and the second time the shots were just bad. <laughs> so, round three, here we go. <laughs> so Coachella was this weekend, which means that festival season has begun, and festivals are always great to try out new and fun makeup ideas, as well as the crazy ones that you're just like, I can't wear that any other day. So today I'm going to be showing you four different makeup and hair styles for festivals. Yay! So the first one, you're gonna take a small portion and just start Dutch braiding, but you're not gonna do all of it, you're just gonna do about that much and then just tie the end with a little hair tie and then you're going to take the rest of your hair and put it into a low side ponytail and then you are going to wrap your braid around the rest of the hair and then continue braiding after that twist point. And then secure it with a tie. And there you go. That is actually really cool, I just made that up. <laughs> now as for face, I've already done the basic foundation as well as a little light contour and blush. Um, but I recommend putting sunscreen on before you do anything else because you always want to make sure that you don't get sunburned because you'll be outside at a festival for most of the day. A good thing for foundation would be either to mix some sunscreen in with your foundation or get some that already has some SPF built into it. I used the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB Cream with SPF 30. I'm gonna take these off now. <laughs> and now for highlighter, I'm basically gonna be using this the entire time, the Revolution Strobe Highlighter. It is gorgeous and amazing. And I'm actually just gonna use a foundation brush to make the highlight a little bit more defined. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Love it. Now I'm going to zoom in for this so you can see a little bit more in detail what I'm going to be doing with the eyes and lips. First up we're taking the NYX Liquid Illuminator Born to Glow um, in the color Gleam and we're going to put that all over our top lid. And I'm just using a paintbrush. <laughs> Next, you're going to take some form of body glitter gel and just take like an applicator and apply it to over top of what you've just done. And the key with this is to pat it on, not swipe it. While it is still semi tacky, you are going to take some sequins and stick them on. I would recommend probably three per eye. I didn't realize the, that the camera had stopped recording, so I have stuck on the three sequins on each eye. Next, you're going to take the lovely highlighter again, and you're gonna put it in the inner corners of your eye. And then I'm going to be using the Shaney, I don't know which palette, it just says number 40, but I, that could just be a number. But it has all these gorgeous colors, and I'm gonna be using this teal right here, and I'm going to be putting that underneath my lower lash line. And bringing it out to about the edge of your eyebrow.
like that. And then for lips, I'm going to be using the Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm Palette. Now this is a highlighter, but it's also a balm, like a lip balm, so it works well on your lips as well. And I am going to take this kind of pinky, it's hard to see, there we go, this pinky one. And I just put that on my lips. And then for the finishing touch, you're going to put mascara on. Now I am using the It Tight Line Mascara because it is so cool. Look how tiny that is. And there you go, that is look one. I did not have the mic on the entire five minutes it took me to do this, <laughs> but basically you're putting your hair up in space buns for this next look. For this look, you are taking this kind of watermelony pink right here and putting that all over your eye. I'm gonna just take the edges up to about there. And then bring it underneath your eye as well. Once again, we're doing the strobe on the inner eye because it's so friggin' gorgeous. And then just kind of bring it a little bit underneath the pink here. Then you are going to take any form of black eyeliner that you think will work best and you are going to do your eyeliner but you are going to do dots instead of a straight line. You're going to line it up with your brow. And bring it in. And you're going to go down at an angle like this. Like that. And then for lips, I am taking the Raspberry Sorbet Lip Gloss by Philosophy and just putting that all over. Alright, next I have sectioned my hair again. <laughs> And for this hairstyle, you're going to want to do either two Dutch braids or two French braids down the center. And I know flower crowns are kind of a big thing, but I figured you could kind of make your own a little bit um, in a different way. What I'm gonna do is I'm taking some of these fake lilac flowers and sticking them in the braids. Kind of like that. First up, I'm going to use this purple right here. And I'm going to do kind of the outside corners of my eye. Now 
Next we're gonna take that teal color again and put it kind of in the middle. And then kind of on the inner corners of the eye, we're gonna take this hot pink up here. And then I'm gonna use the small tight line eyeliner again. Problem with this one, you get too comfortable and then you end up poking yourself in the eye. And then, this kind of already beat me to it, but you're gonna put little speckles underneath and on top. And then I'm gonna just line my under waterline with this white. And then you are gonna freckle your face with pink, purple, and you could, I didn't have blue, but I do have this kind of teal green, so I'm going to do that. They are all NYX, Vivid Blossom, Vivid Envy. This is actually a lip liner, but I thought it was an eyeliner, but this is in just hot pink. For lips, we're gonna do something simple, and it's the Neutrogena Moistener or Moisture Smooth Color Stick uh, in the color Pink Nude. And there we go. That is look three. Okay, and then the last look we are going for. You're gonna take your hair and kind of give it a part, like a mohawk a little bit, and tie the rest in a ponytail just for now. And then you're gonna kind of Dutch braid one long strand. And then you're going to take the other two sides and braid those. And then braid them together. And since you're going to have a shorter middle braid, you're going to tie it off in the middle. Ouch. And then just braid the remaining part. And there you go. Triple braid. We are going to take the Shaney palette yet again. Alright, now we're going to go back to that turquoise color because Obviously, I'm in love with it. And put that kind of all over the eye. And then we are gonna take this kind of royal blue and put it on the outer edges of our eye and kind of blend in. you're going to take the strobe highlighter again and go underneath your eye as well as in the corners. Next you're going to take the Ultra Strobe Balm Palette and you're going to go for this kind of lemon yellow gold. And then for the finishing touches, you're going to add white dots. Now first you're gonna do the bigger dots. So I am using the Enchanting Body Crayon by Wet n Wild Fantasy Markers. You are gonna go over 
and just kind of follow your eyebrow shape. And then go under. Then you're going to use a smaller white. I am using the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. And then you're going to take a small white line down the center of your bottom lip. And then do two dots on your chin. And then a couple of dots down here. And a couple of dots up there. And then once again, mascara. And voila, you are done. And there we go, there are four different festival makeup and hair ideas. God, that was a mouthful. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you have not already, because that would be awesome. And if you would like to get notified when I post a new video, click that little bell somewhere down below, and that will let you know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> That it just it makes you look gorgeous. Basically, is what happens. I'm dipping in. No, how did I lose a brush? I'm trying to rush. Ah, whoa.